Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Post Void on Steam. Console versions are incoming, probably will be released by the time you watch this. Post Void is a first person shooter developed by YCJY Games. So what is it like to play? Well, in Post Void, time is of the essence. It's a game all about speed and getting things done quickly. Your character carries an idol that relates to your overall health. As the liquid runs dry, so does your life but you can refill the idol with every kill. So the game incentivizes a more aggressive type of gameplay, kill quick or die. Upon death, you go back to the start and you will die a lot in the early game. You can jump or slide when approaching enemies to get off a sneaky shot, but everything is geared around moving fast, killing quick and keeping up that momentum before your idol empties. It's a pretty short experience with only a handful of levels and after the first hour or so you will be flying through the game, although at first you might think that you'll never get there. And at the end of a level you'll get this reward where you get to choose some goodies like a new weapon for example to help you with the next stage. Visually it's certainly a very colourful and flashy game but perhaps it is a little bit over the top at times. The music is relentless as the gameplay experiences as well. And though the tracks do help you get the blood pumping and help you kind of with the sort of style of what you're actually doing. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The graphics and sound are pretty well suited to the manic experience. It's exciting and high tempo gameplay become quite addictive. And when you're on a good run, it's very satisfying. What's bad? The visual presentation might make you want to throw up. The one life gameplay does make initial sessions quite a chore and it's a bit of a short lived experience. So what's the verdict? Post Void is a frantic Twitch shooter with bizarre visuals, fast paced gameplay and relatively entertaining experiences once you get into it. It's a game for perfectionists as upon death you go back to the beginning again but the short lived game was pretty entertaining. One thing to know if you suffer from headaches or you know are sensitive to flashing lights you might want to skip this one I would say. But for everyone else, it's worth a look. I mean, I wouldn't say go out of your way to play it, but it's not too bad. Scoring wise, I'd give it, uh, I was gonna give it 6.5, but I'd probably go for seven actually, because it is quite entertaining. It reminded me a little bit of Project Warlock, but nowhere near as good as that. But you know, it's okay. So I'd give it a, a generous seven, I'd say. Right, that's the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.